So, no, I got it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I got my Borla 8 TAC installed on my Challenger 36 GT, so 2008. Borla um, well, did hook me up with this cool little little grandpa hat, you know, but I rock it right. You know what I'm saying, baby, I look good in this. You do. I look good. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, just got the system installed. Probably got 100 miles on it right now. Borla says it takes about. Um, 400 to 900 miles for it to break in completely so while we're breaking this in um, i'm going to give you guys a couple drive-by videos some revs see uh so you can hear what it sounds like and let y'all hear it in idle um, let y'all just hear how it is driving too um, right now i'm driving with the windows down there's not a lot of drone um, especially at the lower rpms you, you will not get a lot of drone at all um, when you start getting in the higher RPMs, I say about 4,000, you can have your windows up, you will you will start to get a little bit of drone. Um, but it's nothing it's nothing too crazy. It's nothing that will annoy you. If you have music on, it'll completely drown out that drone from the exhaust. Um, a couple things that I noticed since I got this installed. Um, immediately, immediately, you will see an improvement on your gas mileage. You will see an improvement on your gas mileage. I was probably getting about 16.5 miles per gallon. This is a city. I really don't drive on the parkway or the highway um, on my commute, my daily commute. So it, it probably bumped up all the way to about 18.5. So I'm probably getting about two miles per gallon more than what I was initially, um, which is definitely an improvement. Um, second thing, uh, people always talk about performance. Well, will my, will my cat back system give me more horsepower? The answer to that immediately is no. I'm not seeing uh, an improvement in horsepower. It's not like my car is jumping for joy and throwing me back in my seat all crazy now. But one thing I can add is that sound that you get from driving it, it makes it a hundred times more enjoyable um you, you you just drive it and you don't even want to hear your music anymore you just want to hear the fucking exhaust that's how good it sounds real shit uh i'm gonna see if i can open it up a little bit so i bang out this right over here see if y'all can hear it ah this motherfucker gets in front of me of course so can't really step on it like i want to but i'm gonna cruise a little bit see if i can you know give him a little space and then Give y'all a little wide open throttle here. Oh yeah, he got my way. He said, no, no, you ain't about to rear end me, man. A little wide open throttle. I got my windows down, so I don't know how good you can hear it, or how, how bad the wind is, but it sounded damn good to me. But without further ado, I'm going to let y'all hear a little bit of drive-bys right now and the revs and some items. So, DJ Rum that out. Give y'all a couple revs for the boiler ATAC here. We'll go from the front and the back. Little front profile rev for you. The sounds like from the front. Bring my baby, that's my baby.
right, so now y'all got to hear some drive-bys, uh, some revs from the front, some revs from the back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, no, nah, let me know what y'all initial impressions is on the Borla ATAC for this B6 Challenger. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, what, is this something that you would get? Is there a different uh, exhaust system that you think sounds better? Me personally, I, I think the Borla is the, the top tier, the king of the all kings of the you know what I'm saying? For the cat back exhaust systems. Plus, they give you this cool ass hat. Man. I'm looking fresh. <laughs> no, but uh, keep tuned. I'm going to keep some uh, videos coming for y'all, man. Show y'all some other mods I've done with my Challenger. Uh, just keep it fresh, man. Keep some good content coming for y'all. Um, I'm also going to do a, a second impression once I break this exhaust fully in. And I might bag back and do do the whole shebang over again with some more revs, some more idling, some more drive-bys, and uh, see if there's any comparison, let you guys know if I feel any more power uh, once it completely breaks in, how my gas mileage is doing once it's completely broken in and whatnot. But y'all stay tuned, man. Make sure you subscribe and like. DJ Rumdada out.